Hello guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts, garage edition this time. What we're going to do is we're going to replace the brake pads on a 2006 Nissan Sentra. What you're going to need for this, obviously, is you're going to need a tire iron to remove the tire, a 9 inch rent, uh, socket, and an 11 16 inch socket. Gotta have some brake lubricant, some brake cleaner, your new brake pads. I'm doing the rotors as well, so we'll show you those. The new rotors, the jack to lift up the car, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta look, loosen up the lug nuts. Once you got the lug nuts loosened, go ahead and raise the car. Alright, the car is jacked up, so we're going to remove the wheel. Now guys, as a tip, I always take my lug nuts and put them into a box. And first thing I'm going to do is loosen the bracket, slide bolts, one here and one here, and then we'll go from there. So, this is the 9 16th socket. We're going to go ahead and put it on here. Take this bolt out. Do the same thing with the one down here. Okay, we just loosened that one up. Now this is if, only if I was going to do just the pads, this is what I would do. The caliper itself now should be able to come backwards. Should be able to just peel that back. And take a small screwdriver in there, see if we can't get it off. That should just come right out. Because it's fighting me, I'm going to go ahead and take the whole thing off. You need to have something to hang the caliper with. So just go through this hole. I use a small bungee cord. Okay, I just take a small bungee cord. I go up to the strut. I'm just going to hang it off the strut. So now if I was just changing out the pads, I would just pop the pads out. For some reason, this caliper and brake slides are not working very well. I can't get these off. Or they should just pop right out and you should be able to pop the new ones on. So as you can see, these are pretty much disintegrating as I pull them apart. So this is where I'm going to use the 11 16 socket. And we're going to take the mounting bracket off. You got these two bolts right here, one and then two. We're going to let that sit for a little bit and we'll come back. 
Alright guys, so I've hit that with the PB blaster. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and loosen them up. Alright, so now we got all the bolts out. We should just be able to pull this right off. If you can't, you can use a screwdriver and just pry it off. Look at this, guys. The pads don't even move in, in this bracket. Alright, now the rotor's had given me a hard time, so I've got a rubber mallet. We're just going to go ahead and give it a couple taps. And we can pull the rotor off. The rotors come with a, a chemical on them, so we're going to take some brake clean. And just spray the rotor real quick. Wipe off any excess. Put the new rotor on. Spray the outside. Just wipe it clean. All right, guys. So now we got the. We're gonna put the new caliper bracket on. All right. All right. So now that the caliper bracket is on, we're gonna go ahead and put our pads in. We're gonna take some brake grease. And we're gonna apply them to the sides of the pad here there there and there same thing on this side you guys just want to make sure you don't get this on your brake pads themselves then we're going to slide these in There we go, that side's in. Do the other side of the pads. Alright, so now we got the pads in. We're just going to put the caliper back on. Alright guys, so I forgot to show you something. Um, see, I put a new caliper on. I didn't have to compress my, uh, my piston. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and compress your, your um, caliper even though it's going to be off the vehicle. I'm going to use the old one. Alright, so here's the old caliper. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need an old brake pad. All right, you're going to take the old brake pad and you're going to put it in front of the piston just like this. All right, so you want to put it in front of the piston. And then you're going to need a caliper compressor. All you do is spin this thing all the way down, slide it in, and then start twisting it.
until your the piston on the inside You can see the piston being compressed, and it's obviously, obviously going to push out all the fluid. And you want to do that until you get the piston here flush, or as flush as you can. All right. Sorry, I forgot to show you that while it was on the vehicle, but where I didn't have to do that this time, I forgot. Now. If you don't have one of these, what you can do, take an old brake pad, same thing, and then you're going to take a large C-clamp and put it across here and just torque, torque it down with the C-clamp as well, and that'll work as well. All right, guys. So now we're just going to put it back on. Slide it on here. All right, guys. All right, guys. Now all we have to do is go ahead and um, put the wheel back on and bleed the brakes. So I'm going to go ahead and bleed the brakes, and then we'll put the wheel back on this side, and then we'll go to the other side and bleed the bleed the brakes on that side. But thank you guys for coming along, and have a great day. Remember to click that subscribe button. Bye.